Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the show, Dylan here. So if you have been deactivated by Uber, if you're an Uber driver and you've been deactivated, I wanted to uh, talk about that because it's a very real issue and um, I think it's important to discuss reactivations and just that whole process because not a lot of people talk about it and there's a lot of gray area, there's also a lot of scams going on don't look into the comment section and go follow one of these people. Um, there's a lot of scams going on. So there's this article that was just published and I wanted to share it with you guys. So please check it out, take a look at this. Um, I'll leave a link to this down below because it is helpful information. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So this was on uh, gigworker.com. So, this is a really long article, super helpful, um, but they said, how to reactivate your driver account. Uber reserves the right to cancel your partner account at any time for any reasons, no questions act, asked. So as an independent contractor, when you sign up, you are giving Uber the basically freedom to cancel your account. It's not like you're a W2 employee where they have to have you know justified reason to fire you. They can cancel your account at any time. Listen to this, if your driver account has been temporarily or permanently deactivated for any reason, and if you've driven for Uber for, or any of these apps for a while, like they'll deactivate you temporarily for a little reason. Like I've been deactivated temporarily multiple times and usually you get it back, but you know, I've, I've gotten mine back, but a lot of people never get theirs back. It says, you have an awesome or you have an opportunity to reach out to Uber and dispute your deactivation. I had a friend who got deactivated from Instacart for delivering to the wrong address. There's glitches in the app. I mean, sometimes you get to a house and there's no service and you need to scan their ID. It's like, if you skip it, that could potentially, like there's so many problems. But it says, every incident will be thoroughly investigated by Uber. That one I don't necessarily agree with. A lot of times I feel like they just kind of just side with the passenger and call it a day. There's sufficient reason your account can be permanently banned. In some cases, Uber doesn't even need evidence if you've received several unconfirmed complaints. Yeah. In order to appeal, you can head to Uber's deactivation page and fill out a form. So I didn't even know this existed. But if you go to this, there's actually an Uber deactivation form. This is crazy. I did not even realize this existed. So if you were deactivated by Uber, um, I'll try to leave this link below here, but you can actually appeal this and um, you can write all the information here about your thing. I don't think there's like a spot to add in screenshots, but please be nice in here. Um, don't be mean to them because if you're really mean, they're just probably going to delete your message. So be really nice, write, you know, write out, write in a Word document and then copy and paste it over. Like take your time with it. Don't just write in here and send it. Like take your time with it. Consult with people, your friends, other drivers, maybe a lawyer. Um, anyways, so I would definitely do that. I would definitely start there. Make sure to provide further information regarding the incident and plead your case as best as possible, but you should know beforehand that Uber doesn't guarantee your account will be reactivated. So if you ever find anybody promising that that they will reactivate your account, um, it's probably not legit. It's most likely not. I mean, it's probably not legit. If they say you're, they're going to do it for sure. If you find somebody that there are services out there that will write letters to these companies for you, like basically, you know, fill this out and write like a legit letter that could work. I mean, those I would, I would, I don't think it's bad to use one of those services, but people say, Oh, we're going to hack into the account, blah, blah, blah. No, it's, it's, they're probably lying. If you have any more questions, you can contact Uber customer service. Um, yeah, that's just through the app. I mean, yeah, it, that's probably not the best route to go, but 
for writers, who cares about writers? <laughs> um, get back on As long as you're playing by the rules, you shouldn't have to ever worry about getting your account deactivated. That again, I do disagree with because even if you are playing by the rules, a lot of times there can be false reports, there can be false ratings, there can be things out of your control. Um, and I just think that, you know, some things are out of your control. So anyways, that's the video for today. Wanted to make this quick update. I hope that does help some of you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and check out the links below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.